Hello friends, welcome to today's video. My hair is up, I've got no makeup on, I'm in my cozy PJs because it is time to test a skincare product. This mask, the Bliss Pore Patrol Deep Detox 4 Clay Souffle Mask. We're gonna talk a little bit about the company, a little bit about the product. I'm going to put it on my face. I am going to let it do its thing, and I'm gonna tell you what my experience is like, and then I will also let you know later on in the video, I will pop back in a day or two from now just to let you know if anything amazing happened or anything terrible happened from using this mask. In reading about the company, here's how they present themselves. This is bliss. We believe inner happiness leads to outward beauty. So take a breath, press pause, and give yourself and your skin a mega boost. Our transforming skin wellness products feel and smell amazing and do what they say they will. Nope, not too much to ask. This is bliss. Now the next part talks about let's start from the beginning and I was actually pretty happily surprised to find out that they were founded in 1996. The original Bliss NYC ignited a modern spa and skin revolution with ingenious products, a super positive, never fussy vibe, and brownies. Did we mention the brownies? So you look at something like this and it's like, okay, it's been around for 24 years. I feel like that means they have products that work well. They're not some kind of like fly by night money grab operation. They actually have, you know, a good business model and good products that people are buying. They also say love skin will travel. We globetrot a lot. It's how we scout the most modern, efficacious ingredients, the newest forms and textures, and deliver ahead of the trend innovation in skin wellness to you. We want everyone to put their best face forward, so we leverage the newest technologies and crunch so many numbers to bring you spa-powered products that work in every budget. All products are PETA-certified cruelty-free and blissfully free from parabens, phthalates, SLS, SLES, and other bad stuff that you don't want on your skin or body. I really like their vibe. Again, I like that they've been around for so long. I like that they kind of have a playful tone. It's this kind of thing that really sets up the feeling of a brand um, and makes people keep going back to it. So let me tell you more about this product in particular. First of all, very well priced. It is $18 American, and for a mask product, that's pretty good. They do say on here this product is for normal or oily skin. My skin is kind of normal combination, so this won't be bad for it, but it wouldn't be something I necessarily would use all the time, as clay could dry me out a little bit. So they point out about the mask that the silky souffle mask aerated with a combination of powerful clays deeply cleanses skin and minimizes the look of pores without leaving it dry or tight. French green and kaolin microclays combine with willow bark to detoxify and declog pores. Bentonite clay keeps oil in check. Glycolic acid gently exfoliates to make sure pores don't clog up later. And it's hypoallergenic and dermatologists test it. They do talk about the key ingredients in here being French green montmerlinite produced from decomposed plants and iron oxides and high in mineral salts. This quote swelling clay soaks oil in like a sponge to control sebum. Bentonite is produced from volcanic ash. It's a highly absorbent clay that binds to toxins and oils in the skin, so they are more easily removed. I'm not even gonna get into my rant about toxins not really being a thing, but it binds to oil. Kaolin, also used for making porcelain, this mild clay absorbs impurities without removing natural oils. And sea clay is one of the most effective mineral clays. This micro clay traps impurities within its multiple layers while its toning action helps stimulate skin, has the high absorption properties of all clays, so it works best for the detoxification of pores. I will mention before I get to the other ingredients that they talk about these four different clays and they talk about how kaolin is good at removing impurities without removing natural oils. But does that really matter when a number of the other clays talk about how oil absorbing they are? Like, I feel like the other clays are gonna cancel out the more gentle effect of the kaolin clay. They do have glycolic acid in here, so it does have a uh, chemical exfoliation kind of ingredient. There is willow bark, which is also a natural and gentle exfoliant that sloughs off dead skin cells, making way for fresh, bright, and radiant skin, and pomegranate extract, which is a powerful antioxidant with high levels of vitamin C, known to clean pores and exfoliate to reveal fresh, smooth skin. In looking at the full ingredient list, there are no fragrance 
there isn't fragrance in here as its own ingredient. But what I actually do like about how they present this is they do tell you what the scent is here. The scent is light mandarin, but it gets that from citrus peel oil. And I do think if you are somebody who is buying products online where you don't get to like see and smell the product, it's kind of nice when they tell you what the dominant scent is in it. So if it's something that you really don't like or something that you really love, that it can help in the buying decision. The directions are to smooth a thick layer onto clean, dry skin, avoiding the eye area, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, rinse thoroughly, and use two to three times a week, which is a fair amount. So I guess they expect you to be using this every three days or so. Um, this is the point where I realized that I didn't bring a towel in here, but eh, I'll wing it. Let's get this on my face. So it is a little pump bottle. This is going to come out from what I understand like a foam. Oh, that's not great. The uh, pump broke off. I hope it still works. So I'll just show you here. I'll do about that much, I think. And it does say to always remember to put the plug back in here after use. So it's a very, very light green. And it's a little less foamy than I expected it to be. It's interesting, I also would not call that a light mandarin scent. I'm not getting any citrus whatsoever. That's nice, I got one little spot on my nose. Ooh, I think they say to put on a thick layer, but I feel like that was like too much that I put out there. So my advice if you have this or choose to get it is start small. Want to make sure to get it on my jawline because that's where I do tend to get acne. Okay, I am going to set my alarm for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to clean myself off and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it has dried. So it has been 15 minutes and this definitely has done what clay masks do, which is completely tightened up and dried. There's a few places on my cheeks where it's still a little bit damp, but yeah, this is, like you can see it's starting to crack there. It's a clay mask. So I'm gonna do the part that you, it's the most fun to do when a clay mask is dried. <laughs> Get it all cracked. So I'm gonna go wash this off. Before I do, let me just mention that generally when I use any kind of clay mask, I don't let it get to this point of drying. I read somewhere at some point that if you don't have super oily skin, so you don't really want your skin to dry out too much, um, you don't need to let a mask dry down to like dry, dry cracking stage. You can let a clay mask sit for a while and then still wash it off while it is not quite dried yet. It will, you know, pull some of the oil out of your skin, but it won't completely suck your skin dry of its natural oils. Okay, I'm gonna go hop in the shower, wash this off, and then be back to tell you what my skin feels like. The mask has been washed off. It rinsed off pretty easily, which is nice. I've had some masks where it just felt like it was really stuck to your face and didn't want to come off, but it did eventually, and pretty easily, uh, rinse off with water. Uh, and yeah, I mean, my skin feels nice and smooth. I feel like it's starting to feel tight. I got out of the shower because I like to just wash my face in the shower uh, just a few minutes ago. I've not put my moisturizers on yet and it is starting to feel a little tight across my forehead. So I do think that this is a little bit more on the drying side for people who do have oilier skin, which is fine. I'm going to go put all my moisturizers on, but yeah, it's... Let me zoom you in a little bit closer to see my skin. I mean, I seem to be having, these were here before, but I, I feel like I have a little bit more texture and breakout on my skin lately. It may be stress related to be fair, um, but we'll see. I mean, yeah, there's definitely some breakouts there. So I'm gonna see if this, I mean, I don't expect a clear, uh, clay mask to clear up my skin, but uh, you know, it's looking nice and smooth in the areas that did not have texture before. And it's looking kind of brighter overall, which is good. As I mentioned, I will pop in again at the end of this video to let you know any good or bad or indifferent things that happened in the next day or two after using this mask. Hey guys, so it is a couple of days later. Uh, I am actually just editing the video. Notice I'm here in editing and not like at my desk. I, I like to be comfy while I edit. 
Um, also just back from work and not looking the greatest, but I, uh, I didn't notice a huge difference from the clay mask. What I will say is the next day when I woke up, those um, blemishes that I showed, as well as one that was on my chin, had all become whitehead. So I don't know if the clay mask helped to sort of draw the, um, like bring those pimples kind of to a head a little bit, maybe help draw some of that out. It's hard to say because, you know, I didn't have anything to compare it to. But I do think maybe if you are a little more oily or a little more acne prone, this might be something that you might like. Um, it didn't have any bad effects in any way. So I think for a clay mask, which is not generally the kind of mask that I go for, it was a pretty good mask. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video. I do hope you found it useful to see if maybe this is a product that you want or don't want. I think overall it's, it's a fine clay mask. I think it does tend to skew towards people with oilier skin who may want to use this. Uh, but the experience was pretty nice and uh, yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about it. So thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.